Recently on China Price Watch, we've been focusing plenty on mainland China's raucous property market. Today we're switching gears and looking at another market that acts as something of a steam valve for the mainland's voracious appetite for property, Hong Kong's real estate market. We'll look at the drivers behind steadily rising prices and examine how the influx of mainland buyers has added another irritant to the already difficult relationship with the mainland. Prices in Hong Kong have long topped those in the mainland and now far exceed even those in other major financial centers. The Financial Times Chinese edition reports that despite a per capita GDP that's half that in New York, Hong Kong has property prices 3.4 times those in the Big Apple. Estimates of average prices vary based on market segment and who you're asking, but according to CNN analyst Jeremy Ng, Hong Kong property prices have doubled between September 2008 and September 2012. In a poll conducted by Chinese University of Hong Kong, 90% of Hong Kong residents said current prices are exorbitant and unaffordable. Now it seems those sky-high prices are putting apartments out of reach for many Hong Kongers. The local Hong Kong Tsingtao Daily reports that even the city's chief secretary, the second highest position in the government, has been priced out of buying an apartment in the city. It goes without saying then that young Hong Kong couples are finding a home in their homeland harder and harder to come by. In much of China, owning a home is a social prerequisite to marriage, and now many Hong Kong couples are being forced to delay wedding plans until they can track down an affordable house. Over the past eight years, there have been an average of around 48,000 couples registering for marriage each year, but during that time there was a yearly average of 13,650 apartments up for sale. That means there will be three couples, not to mention countless other buyers, vying for each home. Between 1997 and 2003, when Hong Kong loosened tourism rules for the mainland, there was an average of 1.37 apartments for each pair of newlyweds. In many ways, the rising prices can be explained by a quick look at supply and demand, but in Hong Kong, neither the supply nor the demand seem particularly natural. With many new home purchases, the demand is not for a place to live, but for an investment and a store of value. With supply, a large portion of the islands that make up Hong Kong remain off limits to developers, packing an international financial center onto a tiny section of a few islands. To make matters worse, the market has been flooded with mainland Chinese money that has driven up prices and dragged down relations between Hong Kong and the mainland. Don't go away, because when we come back, we'll take a look at the state of Hong Kong mainland relations in light of the divisive property purchases. Stay tuned.